hello, this is Rich Gale here on YouTube, Rich Gen X Elsewhere, and it's time to continue with King's Quest II, uh, Romancing the Throne, I believe it's called. Now, we must now go for... Let's see. We are now going to be going on to, uh, got my steak. Ah, I just need a mallet. No, 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 no. Oh. Oh, good. <laughs> I forgot I had to protect the spell. <laughs> Always good to have that. All right. So now we have to get everything we need. So we need the steak. Ah, fairy man's there. Okay, we got that. See, that's our third location. I have everything I need, except for a hammer. Because I am going to get rid of Dracula. But in order to do that, I need to hammer. Mm -hmm. That's odd. I was just looking it up beforehand. Unless, oh, it's in the hole, isn't it? I mean, I don't have to kill Dracula. I wanna. I mean, he's undead, so it's not like it's going to, you know, count against me, I don't think. Hmm. Uh, of course, I'm getting some stupid windows showing up. You cannot see into the hole from here. Lime rock. Okay. Maybe uh, here. Look in hole. Ah! Get mallet. There we go. Now we have everything we need. Now we have that. Mm -hmm. It's time to take a trip. With a flourish, you fling the black cloak and fasten it around your neck and wear, wear a ring. Uh, inventory. Let's see. CD. Okay. Board. Fairy. Look at Ferryman. Boatman. Get in boat. The shrouded ghoul looks at the ruby ring on your finger and the black cloak around your neck. He motions for you to enter the boat, which you do. You must have fooled him into thinking you were someone else. Okay. Eat sugar. 
cube. After swallowing the, the magic sugar cube, you get a feeling of invincibility. Yep, because this is a maze in and of itself. Those brambles are death to the touch. And we get to the door. There are two spook ghosts, spooky ghosts, guarding the door to the gloomy castle. This situation is bad. Two spirits are moved by the black cloak and the large golden ring that you are wearing. It's really the way. Maybe you remind them of someone else. Open door. Sierra loved its uh, stairwells of doom in its early games. Stairwell one. I mean, they were notorious. You make one wrong step, you're dead. Especially as you get higher up. Okay, we got a chest here. I'm gonna open it. Oh, oh it's locked. Ah, I need a key. Which, uh, yeah, I don't have that. So, <laughs> no. So we restore it because we didn't need to go upstairs well one yet because we don't have the damn key. See, I knew what I was doing here. Mm. So, let's go over here. Uh, da, 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 da. Okay, this is a ramp. Alright. Still tricky. You have to go up it carefully. Carefully. Ramp one. And why do I call it ramp one? Because, well, let's face it. Once I get to a certain point, it'll become ramp two, I bet. Oh, no. It's a bedroom. Look at bed. The bed is lumpy and sagging in the middle. A faded old quilt covers it. Okay, get quilt. You don't want it. Okay. Open drawer. There's a candle lying in the drawer of the old dresser. Okay, get candle. You pick it up and carry it with you. Hmm. Why do I need a candle? There's probably something to it. I probably bumped something that earlier when I was trying to double check a map to tell me a location because my brain no. Hmm. So that candle's important. I know it's important. I just have to remember what it was for. Hmm. I need to unlock something. Very possible. Uh-huh. 
I just have a feeling I need to light the candle. The question is where? Let's do a quick save. To the basement. Ah, uh, yes. Uh, I'm going to need to figure out how to light that candle. Okay, so there's obviously got to put me a torch I can reach somewhere. Oh, it was back at the ramp. Yeah, there it is. I feel like a rather silly person. You hold your candle up to the blazing torch. It catches. Your candle is now lit. Yay. See, I knew there was a some place I could light the candle. Do 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 do. Now there's two ways this could play out. And I'm gonna hit five and we're gonna resave it here and we're gonna go down. See with the candle lit, now we see all the way down. We are in the basement. You're already wearing it. Good. Oh, there's a rat. Okay. There's a coffin. With trepidation, you lift the heavy lid of the beautifully carved coffin. Your heart beats wildly. Then you see a vampire lying asleep within it. It must be Count Dracula. Hammer stake in Dracula. Use stake. It's too late. Run before it's Count Dracula is awake. You are caught in Dracula's grasp. Saliva drips off the end of his sharp fangs. Suddenly, he is aware of the silver cross you are wearing around your neck. Count Dracula is terrified of the cross. He turns into a bat and flies away. Well, I didn't kill him. Look in coffin. Trembling with fear, you peer into the ornate coffin. Finding it occupied, you see the interior is lined with a shiny red satin. One satin pillow lies at the one end. Get pillow. You remove the shiny red pillow from the coffin. Lo and behold, a large gold key was under the pillow. Get key. Okay. Well, that's actually not the key I wanted. I Well, I, I want that key. Oh, Dracula had it. Okay. So this is what we're going to do. We're just going to restore it. <laughs> Call.
coffin time. Hmm. Okay, hammer steak. Okay, let's do this again. This is actually the only time you can successfully do something violent in this game. In the King's Quest series at this point. Let's see. Okay, let's try that. Open coffin. Kill Dracula. Bonk, 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 bonk. You place the pointed stake on Count Dracula's chest quickly using the mallet. You pound the stake through his heart. Dracula disintegrates into a pile of dust. A small silver key is left behind in the coffin. Get key. Okay. Open. Or get pillow. Get key. I now have both the gold and the silver key. The silver key I need. Now, if I didn't have that cross on, Dracula would come out of here and come after me. And the white rat keeps running around. Do, 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 do. Sierra loved games with stairs. Why? Because they were sadists. <laughs> no, nah, I, I wouldn't say that they were sadists. I'm sure there's some uh, fans of Sierra games and all that might say that. <laughs> but, you know, we loved our games to be challenging because... If they weren't, they weren't fun. Hmm. Unlock chest with silver key. Unlock chest! The hands trembling, you fit the little silver key into the lock, so you turn it until you hear a click. The old chest is unlocked. Open chest. Groan, with a creak and a groan, the old lid opens, dragging cobwebs with it. Ooh, get tiara. Pick it up and carry it with you. All right. Almost done. So as we make our way down, we go down, 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 boom, boom. All righty, we got the ham, which we're going to need. Yeah, we don't have to worry about these brambles. Get in boat. 
You climb into the decrepit rowboat, and the shrouded fiend paddles across the toxic lake to the shore. All right. And that pretty much finishes things over there. We have the third key. Now, I don't think I'm forgetting anything at this point. That doesn't mean I haven't forgotten something. So what I'm going to do is before I cross the bridge again, I'm going to save it. Final crossing. Because this way, if we forgot anything, we can actually pick it up. At that point, as we cross the seventh time, because if we cross it again now, we fall to our death. Okay, unlock door. The key to the third door fits easily into the keyhole. You turn the key in, presto, the door opens, and again the key disappears, revealing a world unlike any you've ever seen before. All right, we have made it to the next part of this game. Ah, there it is. I couldn't remember. Get net. Now I retrieved a fishing net. Good. Now all I gotta do is catch a fish. The right kind of fish, too. I want to make sure I'm in the right spot and got everything. Okay, nothing there. Good, I can't. Okay. Cast net. You fish and fish and fish. However, no matter how hard you try, you don't seem to be able to catch anything. Oh, Jesus. That was close. All right, then. Let's uh, go down here and try it. You cast the fishing net into the wild sea. Upon retrieving it, you see you have caught a large golden fish. It falls from the net and flops helplessly on the beach. Okay. Get fish. You grab the flopping fish. Its mouth is wide open and its gills are extended. With difficulty, you hold the fish as it twists and turns in your hands. Toss fish into sea. You throw the poor gasping fish back into the iridescent waters. Gratefully, it calls to you. In return for saving my life, I wish to offer you a ride across this ocean. Okay, well, let's ride the fish. Okay, we're at the island now. And be dizzy. All right. We are almost at the end of this game. Look, there's a tower. There's a girl in the tower. It's not the first time there's been a girl in the tower in the series. Well, this is the first time there's been a girl in the tower in the series. Uh, there will be other, other opportunities for a girl to be in the tower in the series. I just want to make sure I'm not missing anything here. You never know, there may be a key somewhere. No, nothing there. I'm not going to try and drive, go over there. A glint of metal catches your eye. You look toward the direction of the glint and see an amulet lying on the ground. Ah, yes.
Bad choice of background for Graham there. Get amulet. Okay. Look at amulet. You examine the amulet. It is made of bronze that has tarnished with age. A tiger's eye stone is embedded into the front, and you turn the amulet over and see the word home engraved on the back. It's a magic word. That's what it's got to be. A magic word to take us home. We only use it yet. There's a princess in the tower. Which means we must get past, get to the tower. There's the tower. A door in the base of the tower. Graham, where the frick are you? Can I gotta turn up the speed? Ah, there you are. I had to turn up the speed. I only did that because I couldn't find you, Graham. Normal. Well then. Open door. Oh, great. More stairs. And they're spiral, too. Which means that at some point... Mm-hmm. Be careful, there is a huge lion with dripping fangs at the top of the stairs. He has a hungry look in his eyes. Toss ham to lion. Hungrily, the lion gobbles down the smoked ham and then falls fast asleep. <laughs> Lift bar. Open door. You have found her. The girl from the magic mirror. She's even more beautiful than you had imagined. Let's see, do we bow? No, you can't do that. At least not now. Bow? Can't do that. Okay. All right. So what do I have in my inventory? The bracelet. We can give that. We can give the necklace. Uh, we could give the tiara, the earrings. I think we give the earrings, the tiara last. Give bracelet. No, talk to woman. My name is Valenice. What is your name? Graham. Oh, Graham, I am forever grateful to you. Give bracelet. To Valenice. Give bracelet. Not right now. Give earrings. Okay, I'm trying to remember now what's the right order of things here. It's been years. Hmm. I've missed some things, I guess. All right. Let me. I'll save it here. Home. You remember the word home. A tingling sensation envelopes your body. You black out. 
and you come to you and say you see you are somewhere else. Congratulations, King Graham. You have won the hand of beautiful felonies. For joining me on this adventure. Yes, the monk declares you man and wife. And uh, next time around, we'll be playing King's Quest 3. And check out the other videos that premiere at 3 p.m. Eastern every day in a two week cycle. Uh, I'm working my way through, uh, well, I'm working my way through uh, the Doom franchise following Doom Guy slash Doom Slayer. I'm about to finish up Doom, 3, uh, Doom 64. And there's actually going to, I'm going to be doing two. Uh, Two retrospectives for that series is, well, three retrospectives for that series. The first is going to cover the first few games up to Doom 64, and then, then I'm going to do one for uh, Doom 2016 and Doom Eternal, and then one for the whole, that whole series as a whole. Or, or I may just save that until I eventually play Doom 3. So we have uh, finished this one. Yay! Uh, I'm also... I finished up the seventh case in the Dark Side Detective A Fumble in the Dark. So, uh, depending on when I get to it, when I record stuff, if it's not out yet, if the eighth case is not out, as well as the ninth case, uh, I'm going to basically put those... It's going to be put on hiatus for a while, and I'm going to continue... I'm going to, I have something else I want to put in its place, but uh, I won't know until I get to it. You'll find out when the video goes up what ended up, what ended up happening. I'm working my way through the Tomb Raider Core Designs timeline. I'm working my way through the, I'm currently on Chronicles of that timeline. I'm working my way through the Sherlock Holmes series, a bit in a chronological order. I've gotten through, uh, let's see, in series release order I've gotten through the fifth game the third game the seventh game the fourth game the second game and the sixth game released I'm now working on the ninth game release because it was now it's the beginning of the timeline after I get done with that one and that one's Sherlock Holmes chapter one once I get done with that one I'm going to go back to the later the I'm going to do the first game and the eighth game released, because chronologically, you know. I just recently finished Aliens vs. Predator 2000, so something's going to be going up in its place. I'm working my way through the Timegate game, Night's Chase, the only of the Timegate series, because the first game came out and then no more were done due to issues. <laughs> And I'm working my way through Unavowed. And that's that's an interesting game. I'm enjoying figuring that one out as I play it. And there's others that premiere at 3 p.m., all part of a two-week cycle. And then every week at 10 a.m., Tuesday through Saturday, and sometimes on Monday, I have videos premiering. Uh, Monday is usually... A, Tuesday is usually a fic reading. Sometimes it is on Monday, too. It depends, because i got something I'm already working on, and then something else. I'm working my way through uh, on Tuesday. Uh, Wednesday, it's Final Fantasy VII. Thursday is either Dead by Daylight or Monstrum 2. Friday is a fighting game, either story mode. If I'm not done with all the story modes I have, I'm, if I'm done with all the story modes I have, we're going into ladder modes. I actually have one thing planned that's both ladder and story at the same time. Uh, and Saturday is retrospective for a game I've beaten, so please subscribe to the channel, check everything out, give this video a like, I greatly appreciate it, and until next time, again, this is Rich Kale here on YouTube, Rich Genetics Elsewhere. Bye!